Oh, thank you, Dennis. We'll see you shortly. It's one of the biggest projects in St. Petersburg history, the redevelopment of Tropicana Field. City leaders have narrowed the final list down to four proposals, and starting next week, you'll be able to weigh in on your favorite options. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck spent some time talking with people with a vested interest in the site about why it's so important. Mark Ferguson's bar and grill is just steps from Tropicana Field, 86 acres of land with endless possibilities. It's a beautiful site. There's nothing in America like it. Soon it could be home to affordable housing, office space, retail parks, and of course the possibility of another Rays baseball stadium. The team hasn't decided if they'll stay or go when their contract ends in 2027. And this is going to be our crown jewel right next to downtown. It's going to be a mini city. A big focus of these proposals is also honoring the history at this site, which was once home to a thriving black community before it was raised to make way for this ballpark back in the 1980s. This is a once in a generation opportunity for us to make right our wrongs. Corey Givens Jr's grandma lived on this site and up until her death, she wondered if her relatives are still buried here. Today, the search for lost graves continues in the Tropicana Field parking lots. We have not honored them. We've built over them. And it's tragic that this thing seems to happen most in black communities. When a certain segment of the community looks at Tropicana Field, um, they have the memories. They have the stories of what happened to the community that was there. City leaders say the focus will be on attracting people here all the time, not just on game days. I just think it's incredible because it's bringing life back to what was a wonderful, vibrant, thriving community full of life. In St. Petersburg, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.